Hello everybody, and I he I'm here to showcase you on how to defend or basically how to make your base into a possible defendable position as your enemy progresses into early on. In the start of the game, you have the the enemy has the possibility to attack you and to destroy you as soon as possible and to destroy your rhythm base units. And much more as you progress. Your value as a team member will be drastically become lowered and you will be left behind by your own team and the, the enemy will have much more percentage on the winning condition they have set because they have taken you out basically out of the game. So I'm gonna uh, talk uh, tell you about on how to make or make a uh, a wall. Well, in Warcraft 3, your structures are huge. Their hitbox are or collision. Basically, collision is basically the mass or the entire part of the afraid. structure. The town the town hall has a huge mass of this kind of radius the uh the red box that you see on the town hall has a huge radius and can be used to block work. some units but as the collision box is much more huger than the uh than the than the mass of the actual structure the, the unit can move inside of uh, inside of that collision. I am honored. I'll do my best. But what is it? More work? I will show you on how to block yes, or how to make I am a wall, basically from some structures that are beatable what? from the peasants. More work? First of what? all, you have to find a narrow space. I have one Ready one work. way and two way that the enemy can attack from and I and what is it? can basically Rest surprise me. All right. Let's let's pretend that we are early on in the game that we're still starting out. Right uh depending on what structures you want to build first, but you're gonna form them all go, as a huge wall. I've it? turned the barracks into a huge wall, All right. but since the, this is a spot that an enemy what? can go through, I'm gonna place a smaller structure that can prevent a slight, huge, and drastically decrease their attack. Since a peasant can move, has a smaller collision, he can squeeze past through these gaps, but some huger enemies right. won't be able to squeeze past that collision because their collision is much more bigger than the peasant. It enables to drastically lower their enemy, uh, lower the enemy's attack Job force done. to a minimal for you to handle a large amount of enemy troops. What? Yes, my lord. On what I'm doing right Job now done. is to prepare a defensive then. wall. Yes, my lord. Making a smaller gap as much as possible, maybe the same collision as the farm. You can make it smaller, but as as the game progresses, your units will have much more collision size than the farm. So I advise you to leave a gap that's two by two. Same same collision size as the farm. What would you ask of me? What is your wish? This spot is basically giant proof. Work. Since now we have built a huge wall done. with this size and one gap over here. It is not possible to actually stop the collision size uh, collision size Ready of this barracks since we only have one. A small collision space over here. 
basically a gap. Say the word. Footman I, my lord. can also squeeze that, but On some other larger Natural units, hold. like your hero, Ready for cannot action. squeeze past that gap. For honor. But if the enemy only uses much more bigger size Upgrade. than this tiny gap, that they cannot pass through and will be forced to come up here. What do you need? Let's just say that the enemy is gonna attack early on. What you're gonna do, since the enemies has a same collision size as the footman, will have some units to defend this spot. And some bigger units, or smaller units in a clumped up space, have have this spot to take. I am not you need. Say the word. What do you need? What would you ask of me? Let's just say now they are attacking. As the enemy is trying to progress, it seems like their AI is now coming into a hole. As you can see, a ghoul or the enemy's troops can also squeeze past these gaps. But, since we have fewer space for the enemy to basically surround our units, they have the advantage in terms of in terms of defensive defensive structures or defensive positions. Even though we are outnumbered, yes, we managed to at least hold off the enemy troops. What? Now into the Natural next part. Call. Let's say the enemy has brought up bigger and much more tougher what enemies. As I said before, yes, it is also possible to make the gap of your way much more smaller. Right but the downside of that creating that yes, smaller Lord. gap How may I work? Right is your larger units cannot squeeze through that kind of gap. All right. Say the word. Building structures are a little bit slow, so in early on in the game, you should f you should focus on building and keep on doing your economy while. While microing and microing. This will take a while, but Job let's done. just pretend the enemy what? is waiting to attack in the perfect and in the right time. Job done. Right what is See it? this gap? We still have two more space even though this abomination can still squeeze through that gap. What, what we're gonna what do is, is will make it much more smaller and much more harder for those bigger types of units to squeeze through and do the really no damage. Since we are basically outnumbered and our units are lower tiered than the abomination, we will focus on, on defending. Structure positioning depends on how fair you use your structures as a wall or Job's done. What? a possible right. base to retreat from. What is it? In later parts of the game, your base will become Job's an done. impregnable type of base. It's hard to attack, but it's still possible to be destroyed if yes, the enemies are still outnumbered you in a huge orders? bunch while Say destroying your structures. Yes, my liege. I am not afraid. Now let's say the enemy will now attack to your base. But let's just say they're smarter. They start attacking your type uh, your structures rather than squeeze through the gaps that you have made for them. It will be a much more harder time, but since they pick that kind of route, you can buy time as your allies will come forward and help you. But sooner or later, your structures uh, will give out, then the E will give out of your expectation. Let's just say, 
Nikita, your ally didn't manage to get through and they're getting attacked also. But, it looks like the enemy big units or the abomination cannot squeeze through this gap and cannot surround your units a much more easily rather than the ghoul who got in perfectly. This is a showcase on how larger units sometimes is much more uh, much more powerful than other types of smaller units, but their larger size will become their downfall as your defensive structures denies their size. What is it? What this is how you make a structure, a structure positioning and gapping. <laughs> 